So I'm Carter Hewitt. I'm a freshman here at Georgia College. And then I play the Nutcracker doll and the Prince. I'm Katie. I'm a senior here at GCSU. And I am the Snow Queen this year in the Nutcracker. I'm Nicole Snyder. I'm a senior here at GCSU. And I'm the Sugar Plum Fairy. I've been with this program, this will be my fourth year here, entered as a freshman and have, you know, going all the way through. Um, I've done the Nutcracker with this program every single year. So started as just like the Ballet 5 soloist, um, was the Candy Cane Princess, and I was Snow Queen last year. This year has been really just, it's been a new experience for me. The last um, two years I've had the pleasure of doing Sugar Plum Fairy, which I really, that was a dream role for me. This is my other dream role, and so it's been a, just a dream to like perform in class and just prepare for being on stage. I just, I really love the rehearsals. I didn't think I was gonna continue dance when I got to college, graduating from high school. So doing this spontaneous thing where I came to auditions and got the lead in the Nutcracker was definitely fun, and it's just an escape from the college life. Back at my home studio, we're not really focused on ballet, so I would actually start as a hip-hop dancer. And so being tra training ballet 24-7 now is definitely different, and I think being here and dancing in the Nutcracker has definitely helped me perfect technique, perfect myself technique-wise, and in the performance of doing like ballet and, rather than hip-hop or jazz. I have been dancing since I was three, so this will be my 19th, 18th season dancing, somewhere in there. It gets a little weird because it doesn't quite follow like calendar years, it goes by academic years. But something that I've really learned here specifically is kind of just the idea of really leaning into your own artistry. This program has really pushed us in how can you sort of take what is a placed and proper position and make it yours. Specifically with snow this year, I've been working on building stamina and trying to like make it through to the end while still looking like I'm not struggling. It's just a different, there's a different sharpness to the character. So it's still kind of the grace and joy of the Nutcracker, but as opposed to the Sugar Plum Fairy, it's a lot more, I guess, hard hitting in the choreography. I've had to do a lot of work like outside of the studio too, trying to make sure I'm strong enough and make sure my body's doing okay, like taking care of my feet and my muscles. Talking with my mom, talking with the instructors and my friends in the program and everything and realizing that like I have so many people in my corner who are, you know, uh, supporting me and have offered to come in and I've got, you know, a couple friends who have come in a time or two for a little bit to watch um, has really sort of helped me get over that. I hope that I can give the best uh, performance possible. Um, I really just want to prove to myself that this can be my best year yet. I've worked like really hard for it and technically with my training, I want it to be the best that I can do. Over the time we've spent together, we rehearse like three times a week. And I definitely think we're building a bond and becoming a family. So I definitely think my hope for the Nutcracker would be that the audience would see us performing as a group and as a collective whole. Um, as far as the community, I'm hoping being in the Nutcracker will show anybody younger seeing me dance that it's not just, um, it's not unattainable, but also showing the community that ballets can be fun and interesting. Obviously, I just want to get out there and do my best. 
Um, you know, I really, I want to put on a good show for everybody and I want to be able to perform and, and kind of let go of all the, the fear and the worries and really just be able to embody that just sugar plum sort of. Miss Amelia always says, you know, you're, you're just sponge sugar, you're light as a piece of cotton candy. I just want to really be able to fully embody that and dive in that headspace um, and put on my best show. It's also probably my final nutcracker, so I really want it to just be, you know, magical. And, and the show in its entirety, I hope it just brings people joy and happiness. Just to be able to see so many people up there doing what they love and telling this beautiful tale and this kind of fun and, and an uplifting story. I hope it just brings them just a little bit of holiday cheer and a little bit of happiness and joy and they get to sit and experience that magic for a little while. Absolutely.